um, I think I, I think one of the one of the most exciting things I've heard about from the the science project, the physics project, is is the idea that you, you you're getting close to unifying things like sort of relativity with with quantum field theory. And so, I mean, that's just yeah, that would be absolutely yeah. um, no, you know, it's very it's asking. very cool. It's yeah, very it's extremely cool. Yeah, right. and so, I mean, so it's, what, it's, what's the latest on that, Stephen? And and you know where where are we? With well, that? I mean, I think you know, I think I know how things work. Um, I think that you know, going from sort of having the intuition and having the basic structure to filling in, you know, dotting all the I's, crossing all the T's, that's a lot of work. Mm. And the things that will really kind of nail that are having experimental predictions. We have kind of the prototypes of those predictions and having somebody go and turn their telescope in the right direction mm. and see something totally bizarre that, you know, we expected and that was completely unexpected in any other way. Yeah. And I, I am confident that will happen. I cannot tell you the time frame. And mm. it's again, it's it's one of these things where, like technology prediction, it's kind of like you can see that things will inexorably happen, but knowing is it this decade or is it three decades from now is is very hard because mm -hmm. there are a lot of different factors that that um that come into play. And I think, but but in terms of of how well, so the first thing is okay. It turns out one can have a, a a model of kind of the underlying structure of space. And in the end, the only thing in the universe is space. And there's this giant graph, hypergraph, um, that uh, uh, represents the structure of space and everything in space. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like, you know, if you have a fluid like water, there's a bunch of molecules there, but there are things like eddies in the water you can say, well, that's a definite eddy, and it moves through the water, mm. just like. But but nevertheless, it's not it's still water. Not, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's just yeah. water, mm. and mm. the same kind of thing with matter in space. That you know, a thing like an electron is, I think, just a feature of the structure of space. So it's a persisting form or a persisting eddy within that spatial uh, yes. manifold. Yes. Manifold, should we say? Right. Okay. Right. Well, it's not a manifold. That's uh, oh, it's, it's not right. Okay. It we're a manifold because manifolds are. I mean, a manifold is kind of a mathematical construct that has the feature that it's sort of a continuous thing. And if you look under a, a finer, finer, finer microscope, what you find is Euclidean space. You find nice. space that has things, points that are arbitrarily close together, just the way Euclid said that space should be made. I mean, the, you know, in Euclid, the very first common notion is a point is that which has no part. In other words, points are uh, indivisibly, you know, infinitesimal, so to speak. Mm. Yeah, and that's you know in in the kind of the the arc of the history of science, you know I think in the end the very first common no notion of Euclid is wrong, and you know one can think of mm. sort of the the idea of curved space as being sort of the realizing that the fifth postulate of Euclid that two parallel lines yeah. will never cross that mm. that wasn't right, but actually it's even more basic. The mm. very very first thing that Euclid said isn't really right for physical space. Um, and so the the um, the thing that that one's one so one starting with this kind of sort of everything in the universe is made of this hypergraph. The hypergraph represents the structure of space and everything in it. So matter and everything like that. So matter and everything like that. So matter and everything like that. So